Welcome back, everyone. You know, it doesn't look very big, but what is underneath that hole in Covington tonight is causing both big and expensive problems. It is a story you'll see only on Nine on Your Side. Jason Law spoke to one man who has no idea how he's going to pay for repairs at his house. Most people wouldn't think very much of this orange safety cone on Jefferson Avenue, but underneath is a $15,000 problem. I felt sick. I'm like, how much is this going to cost? He's like, oh, you know, it usually runs about $15,000. Again, I thought it was going to be sick. Eric Smith had no idea he'd have to foot the bill to fix a sewer line that runs off of his property. Did not know that when I bought the house. I don't, I really don't think most homeowners realize that when they buy a house. Nine on your side discovered this year 38 privately owned lateral sewer lines in Covington have failed. The cost to fix them falls entirely on the property owner. Smith says workers told him the cost runs anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. I mean, most people don't even know what a lateral is. Mike Yeager is Covington City engineer. The city is giving Smith thirty days to fix the problem. After that, they begin to fine him one hundred bucks every day. We try to work with them and give them as much time as we can. We realize it's a high cost item, and we try to work with them. But at the same time, it's a public safety issue that we need to address. Tony McAllister lives next to Smith and feels terrible for his neighbor. Damn scary. I don't know what I would do. I'm a retiree. I've been retired for 20 years. Coughing up $20,000 is not easy for anybody. My fear is it's going to be so expensive I can't afford it. But the other fear is if it doesn't get fixed soon, I, more could collapse and it could be very dangerous. Well, the city does offer a grant program. It could cover $5,000, but that still leaves homeowners on the hook for twice that amount with little time to come up with the cash. Our thanks to Jason Law for that report. Now, we wanted to know if homeowners insurance would cover this for you, so we asked around. The answer is no. It's because that hole is not on the homeowner's property. It's in the street. We'll stay on top of this, and we'll let you know if any solution is found.